guys, this is Brandy. This is Les. Welcome back to our channel. Oh wow, I did everything. I am edit that part out. Um, we're sorry it's been so long since we made a video, but with everything going on, there was just other stuff that were a little bit more important to get done, but we promise we will start putting videos out regularly again. For the people that stayed around and subscribed to us, thank you. For everybody that left, please come back. And for all the new subscribers, thank you for checking us out. Oh. <laughs> every time, that's in every video. Oh, God. <clears throat> we decided that we would make a, I guess, a reaction video. Reaction video, um, very more informative video instead of opinionated so-called video so that we can actually clear the air of the misconception or how do you want to put it um, just how people want to put off on this lifestyle which isn't factual so um, we're going to go from this point I'm going to let my wife beautiful wife friend take over from this point I'm going to play this person's video that we're reacting to, I'm going to play the audio in the background so you can hear it. We didn't want to do her the favor of putting her actual video in our video, so this is the best way to do it. Um, let me see if I can start it. Alright. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Can we start off from the beginning? I did. I did. Yeah, here we go. What's up, my YouTube family? I've been out in those YouTube streets again and checking out content and I'm seeing this come up a lot. It's coming up often. The topic of domestic, what do you call it? Discipline. Domestic discipline. Are you kidding me? Domestic discipline. And to me, in my opinion, it's just a made up, switched up word for domestic violence. Okay, um, before we get any further into the video, let me just stop right there and say first and foremost, domestic discipline isn't a made up concept. It's an actual thing that plenty of people do, thousands of people, so it's not made up. Not just thousands, millions of people. This was done way before I was even born, well before she was born and... It actually used to be quite normal. Very normal. Now, and it's not domestic violence. Yeah. Now let's talk about this. Let's yeah. talk about this. Let's talk about it. I'm your, as if I'm your woman and you're my man. I'm your wife and you're my husband. A number one. Even prior to a marriage situation, just just the idea of somebody wanting you to give them permission to hurt you, permission to allow them to hurt you, is that not insane or what? And I am for, I am for patriarchy. I think that the man is the head, period. Can't be two leaders, he can only be one. And that man is the head of his household. But I've always said you're not going to rule me with the iron thumb. But it's gotten to the point now to where you think uh, I don't. I don't even understand what, what, what the hell she's talking about at that point. Um, the term is rule with an iron fist, for starters. But yeah, she said with a thumb. I'm trying to get this like Twitter finger or something. This is Call of Duty. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, she says she does believe that the man should be head of household, but not to rule her. Uh, I'm guessing this is. The interpretation that I'm receiving from this um, short part, uh, I still don't understand it. As far as um, the man is asking or 
not even asking. It's forcing a woman to consent to something that she doesn't want to. And that right there distinguishes two separate things for what we do in this lifestyle versus something that is considered domestic violence. So let me just clarify that first off before this video goes any further. This lifestyle is agreed upon between the two adults consenting. It was um, also my idea, so it's yeah. not like it was forced. No, I don't force her to do anything. I'm, I'm sorry, that's just not, that's not part of what we do. We don't force anything. This is something that we're trying to clarify, so I just want to make sure that I state this during that point while she's making this um, claim, so to say. <laughs> All right. You're going to sneak and try to get me to go along with something that just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. You're not going to get 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 me to give you permission to yeah, beat yeah, me. Let me stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's stop Remix. this again. Because she said, oh, you're not going to give me... Or you're not going to get me to give you permission to beat me. Sneak. You know, sneak. sneak. Kind of underhandedly get permission to beat me. Um, nobody's getting beat. Like, what she is talking about is fighting. Like, kicking, punching, stuff like that. Nobody in this house is getting beat. Get suplex. Get forward. That actually sounds like fun. <laughs> but... Oh God. Nobody's getting beat. I'm going to let her continue to explain what she thinks is going on and then we'll clarify it. She said beat. To hit me. To hurt me. I'm not out to hurt you. Why would you even think, think about hurting somebody who loves you? That, that shouldn't even be a thought in your head. That's I'm like, come on now. To me, any woman that signs up for anything like that, you you all are screaming, pick me, pick me. That has got to be a pick me because it is no way possible that I'm going to allow you to hurt me. I'm not. What is a pick me? I have no damn clue. I'm sorry. This. I'm I don't even know what a pick me is. And I don't know, maybe it's slang in her area or something. I don't know. Majority of all the women that I know in this lifestyle, it wasn't a finding guys who wanted this and they're like, pick me, pick me. No, it's the woman bringing it to the man. Like nine times out of ten, that's always the case. And usually it takes some encouraging to get the men on board. This is usually not their idea at all. Wasn't so. Me. To even think that it's that type of situation is backwards, to say the least. It's very backwards. Um, I, I don't really have much to say about this. It's just pure ignorant. A bunch of stuff I want to say, I'm not going to say, but it's pure ignorant. Excuse me. I'm going to give you permission to hurt me. You do not have permission to hurt me. My husband does not have permission to hurt me either. Just for the record. Hmm. To hit me. Mm -mm. I can't beat you. You know I can't win in a fight. I could barely fight these women. And I understand where it's going to go. Well, bitch, don't give nobody a reason to hit you. <laughs> it, there's a reason for everything. There's a that. reason for everything. And it may not be on my behalf. What do I look like letting somebody that's having a bad day or out of control person come home and then they have to put their wrath out on me. No, no, no. I'm going to make it now. If I'm having a bad day at work or a bad day in general, I'm not taking nothing out on my wife or my children and stuff. This person is distinguishably, I can't even say the word for people, <laughs> basically specifically describing a very abusive person rather you know, in her um, in her case, is a man. I'm guessing a man that she was previously dating or what may have you, and um, that was her case. That's that that is a described specifically abusive person. That is not domestic discipline. 
if I have a bad day, I have outlets where I can do. I have a garage, I have tools, I have other means of doing stuff constructive to take my frustration out. I make sure that I do stuff in a positive manner and stuff because I stand for other means and stuff. My company, you know, when I go out in public, I have to maintain a certain self of respect. So me coming home because I had a bad day and putting holes in, 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 in walls or yelling at my wife or my kids and stuff because I had a bad day, they didn't cause that. That oh He's not like that with me even if I did cause his bad day. That's just not how that works. She is taking experiences she's had with men that she's had that has nothing to do with the lifestyle that we live at all. Yeah. She's making one in the same, and it's not. Definitely not, man. This is very bad. Cause, um, this is where <clears throat> that whole box comes in, where one man does it. All men are like that, and that sucks for me because I don't want to be in public, especially that we are open, DD couple, married, married couple, and. <clears throat> me being in public or dealing with clients or anything like that. Oh, this is the guy that beats his wife, that goes around and he has bad dates. I'm going to make sure I make sure that he's okay so he doesn't go home and throw his wife out the window or something. I don't know. You know, it, this is the type of stereotypic stuff that we try to have fact from opinion, even though clearly in the first part of the video, if you heard, she said it's just her opinion, but she's spewing it as if it's facts. Nasty. <clears throat> what you all are talking about domestic domestic discipline is nothing but dysfunction it's nothing but dysfunction mm. you know you you're gonna have to figure out a way to get your women find you somebody compatible mm. find you somebody that's compatible with you and then you don't have to worry about mm. domestic discipline been together for how long? Since 2005. And apparently, I guess we're not compatible. We're not compatible, and that's not even the years before 2005. <laughs> so, um, I'm still trying to figure out, after all these years, I'm so dysfunctional. We're dysfunctional. We're dysfunctional, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I stand corrected. We're so dysfunctional. We actually have a striving family that is doing pretty okay for themselves at this moment you know can't always talk about the future because you never know what happens in the future can't control that but as of right now we are very you know we're better than most yeah, yeah I can say that and um especially her she's still by herself <laughs> <laughs> because if, if you're a fighter because that already lets me know you're ass with her and you are ass whooper and you want to whoop some ass. I want to whoop some ass. Ass whooper. I'm not, I'm not built for that. I'm, I'm definitely song, not built for that. You will beat me up. You will beat me down. And I'm not a pusher. I'm not a pusher. You know, where, come on. If you having a bad day, I can look at you and see you having a bad day. If you my man, even if you not my man, I can look and see when somebody's not having a good day. I'm not going to antagonize that situation and poke the bear and poke the... Okay. She is treating it as if domestic discipline has no rules, no guidelines. It's something that happens just when one person is, is angry or upset or don't have anything else better to do or whatever. It's not about antagonizing somebody. That's not what causes discipline to happen. We have rules and guidelines and structure. It's nothing the way she is making it out to be. And I've heard a lot of God, a lot of interpretations of our lifestyle, but this is by far one of the most outlandish ones I have basically ever come across. Um, and the problem is people who could be genuinely interested in the lifestyle could google it and this could be the first thing that they come across and something like this will make you just completely change your mind and it 
could be something that could have helped that couple who was looking for it. Basically. We don't try to say, hey, this is for everybody. If it's not for you, that's fine, because it's not for everybody. But to make videos like this, stating how and what this is, when you have no idea, it's it's hurtful, and it is very demeaning, and you're giving people misinformation. This person probably Googled domestic discipline, read a couple of words, and decided to go on a rant about it. I am 100% sure she does not know anybody who has ever been in this type of lifestyle. She does not have any knowledge firsthand of the lifestyle, and she didn't do any type of decent research about it. And that's what makes these type of videos very dangerous because you're putting information out that is just a hundred percent wrong. False. Like not even a little bit of it is right. Like it's way out there compared to what this really is. There, hell no, I'm not a pusher. Yeah, yeah. Period. But you're not gonna hit me. Why would you want to beat me? What would make you want to hit me and hurt me? You're supposed to love me. You're supposed to protect me. I'm supposed to love you. I'm supposed to have your back. What do I look like having a knife about to stab you in your back with? That's equivalent to you hitting me. Because if I hit you, I can't do any damage to you. Look at me. I can't even beat some. Okay, first and foremost, there is a difference between hitting for the sake of hitting and hurting and, and spanking. That's, it's two completely different things. Not to mention, that isn't always what discipline looks like in our dynamic, in most people's dynamic. Discipline could mean talking, lecturing. It could be a variety of things that has nothing to do with anything physical. And even when it is like that, nobody's being beat. Like it's, I don't even know how to really describe how stupid she sounds. It would look like, you know, um, somebody's getting dragged out of their house, getting um, punched in the face and slammed and dragged by their hair and this is the type of stuff that you probably, like what she's explaining that you're seeing like movies or something like that, you know, when they do all this crazy stuff like that whole stereotypical man abuser or whatever you want to call it. Um, abusive man. Abusive man, I said it backwards and stuff. I'm thinking about her. She's an abusive <laughs> man. Um, anyway, um... You just said she's an abusive man. <laughs> she just sound like her voice is the same octave as mine. I'm sorry. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway. Of these girls that want to fight what I look like having to fight in my own house in your house in our home we were to have children they would grow up on that shit thinking somebody's supposed to slap the shit out of their mother I find that very offensive we have children three children and they are great are they aware of our lifestyle they sure are have they ever seen anything happen of course not but they do know the way it's set up and how we do things. And they're perfectly fine. They are well-adjusted, above average children. So for her to say that they're growing up thinking, oh, it's okay for you to slap their mother in the face, like, that's uh, crazy. I've never hit my wife in the face and stuff. I knew you were getting ready to do that. Oh my god, I knew you were getting ready to do that. Oh god. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it, but I mean, just like I said and stuff, I'm still going to stick to basically she's describing to the T what a abusive person is. Like, she's describing what somebody who you need to stay clear from, whether it's a male or female, because there are switch roles in, in this stuff here that we are pretty much aware of and you know I'm sorry I'm not going to stick around if I come home from work and stuff and my wife is having a bad day and she wanted to throw shoes at me and try to stab me in the back with a knife or something because I forgot to take the trash out I'm like shit you know excuse me like that you know like I'd rather not come home 
You know what? That's a good example. Honestly, that's kind of what she's describing. I know that. That could go either way. And being at home all day with three children every day, I probably have more bad days than you do. Yeah. Honestly. And what she's describing is just violence in general. Like, a violent person who has a violent personality and a violent temper who just wants reasons to take anger out on somebody. It is, don't get us wrong, because domestic abuse happens. Domestic violence happens. We're not stupid. We're well aware of that. And that's bad, any way you want to put it. But it's not the same thing as what goes on in a domestic discipline relationship. Not a normal one. Now... Could there have been cases where a domestic discipline relationship went south? Yes, because there are bad people and the wrong person could get the information and use that in a relationship to be abusive. Mm -hmm. But that's not the norm. It's not the norm. This is where we are trying to kick in to gear to separate true facts from those who are opinionated in their mind and thinking this facts and then <clears throat> the third thing one might just bring up that there are people who sought after people like this who want to be submissive and um use that part in the wrong way and i don't stand for it because those people give us a bad name just like i said you know if i'm out in public somebody thinks that i'm hurting her or any type of way and stuff they might approach me in a threatening manner and stuff and i'm be honest with you you know if i felt the same i would do i would do the exact same thing you know i don't stand for men abusing women i do not stand for that at all if i see it and if it's in my presence guess what i'm going to step in regardless if it's uh, Whatever's going on, I don't, I don't know. I might not have seen what have happened from the initiator. She could have hit him. I don't know. But if I didn't see that part, and it's like that man is just doing the worst, okay, it's going to be man on man after that. If I'm there in the presence, so I can understand that. And this is this is the type of information and stuff that kind of scares me a little bit because I deal with a lot of clients. I deal with a lot of people in public. I deal with a lot. I I, I deal with a lot. So. To come across the wrong person with the wrong information and stuff can actually alter or change anything that I do. You know, rather me having to defend myself to a certain point where I might end up getting locked up, or it could be to the point where somebody can do very bodily harm, but I'm not even in the picture anymore. This is the type of stuff that is unneeded in society and stuff. It's people like this who are putting this stuff out here don't even know how dangerous their words are. You can also lose clients. A lot of clients. Because <clears throat> if we we take a risk at being as open as we are in the lifestyle, um, we do it for a reason because we want to bring awareness to that there's nothing wrong with it. If you choose it and it works for you, then it's great. Like so we try to be the voice of the people who, who can't be out with it, who have to hide the way they do things and the way they live. With that being said, when somebody puts out information like this, somebody could see this and think that, okay, he's at home abusing me, and this is somebody who he comes across in a work situation, a potential client or something like that, and they're like, you know what, we don't want to work with them. We don't, most people do not want to socialize or associate with somebody who is Basically, I would be a public abuser. Be a public abuser at this point, yes. yes. <clears throat> like, um, I condone beating and, what, basically she's saying, beating and punching and fighting or any of this stuff. For no, any specific reason, oh, dad, you know, I got off late or something. I, it, it doesn't matter, whatever the case is. If it's something I don't agree with, it's solely up to me for me to get this ticked off to do whatever, inflict whatever I want to upon her. No, no, that, that that's that's just idiotic, man. It's it's ignorant. It's very ignorant. No, no, no. Mm mm. Mm mm. You know, you want to open up a Pandora's box and a can of worms, just something that you don't need to open because that leads to other things. 
you're going to have to our lifestyle does lead to other things it led to us being happier it led to us having better communication it led to us being a better couple it led to us being better parents it led to us having a better family all around Mm-hmm. That might not be how she meant it, but it did lead to other things. It definitely led to other things on a positive note, yes. not negative. Um, that helped me as far as, like I said before, being in public, dealing with clients, and being able to secure more jobs um, for my company as well. Um, more assertive. Definitely. And it it helps out. It definitely helped, helped out and stuff. And even with the company that I'm with, um, even, all right, there's two people above me. It's the actual general manager and the CEO, the actual owner of the company. And they all respect and look up to me, especially for what I provide for the company, <clears throat> myself, generally. Just, not only just my skills and my certifications, just how I am and how I present myself. <clears throat> Anytime that you have clients and stuff that request for us to come back or generalize to word of mouth to their neighbors or networking and stuff that hey these specific people these are the guys that you want that stands out that speaks volumes and stuff and when that comes about and you have somebody like this comes on and says this and i'm like all right i'm out in public i open about our life because our life isn't a lot <clears throat> so you might have people who feel very offended by it especially with everything that's going on you know the separations of culture and you know feminist movement, feminist movement black lives movement um all, all this stuff you know and it's a very sensitive time for people and stuff and we're not a sensitive couple so we, we're kind of straightforward but when it comes down to stuff like this it, it it kicks us it kicks us into gear to where we have to be very protective of ourselves now because we don't know what's on other people's mind in public or in society we can't always come across people who are very, you know, welcome, you know, um, welcome arms to us and stuff. It might be some people that want to cause bodily harm and stuff because they feel a certain way. Now, we're happy. My wife's happy. I'm happy. This person is miserable. And alone. And alone. We've been fortunate to where everybody we've come across who knows us from videos or from Facebook or anything like that it's all been positive Mm -hmm. like we've come across great people so far um we've been very fortunate in that we've had no negative experiences face to face we've had a lot of negativity through email or through youtube comments or stuff like that but that really doesn't matter it is what it is you always got those uh, what they call keyboard warriors or something (laughs) um twitter finger bangers and facebook bullies Facebook bullies, like, I don't care about none of that stuff, um, you know, I've I came a long ways from a lot of that stuff, um, just like how I was brought up, if they're not within arm's reach of you, they are no danger to you. So, so we just ignore it, we read it, we laugh, we move on. Yeah, it's pretty funny to me anyway. So. Most of them are really funny. <clears throat> she's really funny. Yeah. Well, In she, an annoying type way, yeah, but she's I, funny. I, I couldn't really listen to this whole video straight through. This is just annoying and stuff. It just reminds, her voice just reminds me of this old aunt that just gave your uncle some head, some nasty head, and came out and wanted to give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Pretty sure I'm gonna edit that part out. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, okay, yeah. Okay. Call it what it is. Alright. Exercise your control in another manner. And you cannot expect for black women to allow you and agree to you for you to beat them. I'm black. In case y'all never noticed, last time I checked, I'm black. Oh shit. And I'm a woman. Oh, I got the wrong one. (laughs) Who knew? Oh god. That's asking a little bit too much. Just, just so we can be subordinate to you. Mm mm. Mm mm. Cool. And oh, it's not a beat down. Anytime you. Put your hands on somebody else because you're supposed to learn that before you get to kindergarten. 
keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hand. Work it out another way. Work it out. You you guys don't have any business being together. And if somebody comes to you, ladies, with some domestic discipline shit, mm. shut that shit down that right girl. at the door. Shut mm. it down at the door. I know mm. what to do for a man. You don't have to hit me. I'm trying to figure. She said she knows what to do for a man, but yet. She doesn't have a man. So, um, maybe you need to brush up on that. You know what to do for a man. Brush up and also need to understand from, I can't, if if y'all females out there, you're actually with somebody, you actually sustained it for a few months, almost a year or better. I wouldn't take any advice of somebody who can't maintain that relationship for over a month or so. So, I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you. If they, they go through multiple different men within one year or if they single for that time frame just imagine how that door that's supposed to be shut if you're bringing that how many people revolve in and out of that so, don't take relationship advice from nah, a single person not just at all. just don't it's just like you don't take marriage advice from somebody who's divorced mm. you you just mm. don't that's a low blow no it's not it's true mm. in order for us well, actually, let me rephrase that. In order for somebody to give us relationship advice, you need to have a better relationship than we do. For that to be valid. You mm. need to have been together longer than we have. Well, you, you have say to... Somebody could say, you say longer, so somebody could be married a month longer than we have. Mm. Okay, if they've been married for a month, they cannot longer give... Longer than we have. Oh. I said longer. A month longer. longer? That's still longer. That's still longer. I mean, we still wouldn't take your advice. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Because, I mean, couples are, are different, and advice is so, it's kind of biased, because nobody knows the complete ins and outs of your relationship, so nobody can 100% give valid advice. Even people you talk to and communicate with, you don't tell them everything. Nobody will know everything but the two of y'all. So, it's best not to take advice from people, period, when it comes to your specific relationship let's see oh we still got like five minutes of her to make me try to get an understanding of you and if we can't get an understanding of each other we don't need to be together we don't need to be together because i'm not gonna fight with you i'm not gonna fight with you you want to holler combative 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 you know when when you come in at a door saying what you want to do and you know what you know what i think it is so you know what i think it is i think it's those ass whippers the ones that whip ass i think those ass whippers are the one that's trying to push this narrative you know if you if you if you wouldn't be no woman's ass you wouldn't be thinking about putting your hands on uh, on nobody and hey, y'all have lost y'all ever loving minds the ones talking about some domestic d- discipline she can't even say it right here. Fuck out of here. Ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna sign up for that. They'll stay by themselves. And you know, I know I would. I would. And if you're a beater, get off my channel. I don't need you that fucking bad. I don't need nobody that sit up and wanna abuse women. I don't mm mm. Go abuse somebody else. You you I'm not gonna sign up for that. That that right there is mad scientist crazy. That's this is too much. It, it's just Y'all oh, mean y'all doing too much. You're doing too much right now when you're talking about that. Stop trying to change shit so y'all can beat people up. You're not gonna get me to say it's okay to beat me up. You're not gonna beat me up. What am I gonna do after you beat me up? Do I even look like I can take your ass whipping? I succumb to that shit. Somebody coming home from work and dinner not ready yet. You just slap me in my ear. Make me go deaf. I'm sorry. I've heard that. It is still funny. <laughs> slap me in the ear. The dishes aren't done, so you can come in the door and slap me in the ear. Yeah, right now. I have yeah. never heard such just out there things as she is talking about. It's we have to laugh because I mean. Yeah. Um. This that part is just funny, but the whole concept behind it isn't. I mean, to those who have been through actual domestic violence we're not laughing at that no. part we're laughing at the part she's talking about the dishes not washed and get slapped in the air and some shit and been going deaf 
I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. It's, it's like, what the hell? Somebody just comes home. The dishes ain't washed. Bah! Wash them. It's like, what the hell? What would you just do? Who does that? Like, I mean, she, apparently, who she deals with? I mean, he just comes home. Wash the dishes. You know, next time. We <laughs> oh, can. did you hear? <laughs> you can't hear. Let me help you out. Let me knock sense on the other one. <laughs> I'm we, sorry. I'm sorry. That's wrong. That is so wrong. That's so wrong. Nothing here happens in anger. Oh, God. He's not, I can't say he's not allowed to be angry at me because you can't help being angry with somebody, but he is not allowed to be angry towards me. Mm -hmm. If something's happened and he's past just a normal upset level, he's angry, he's mad, he has to distance himself until that feeling goes away. And then we can talk or whatever needs to happen, but Definitely. nothing here is done in anger. We don't even talk in anger. No. He doesn't yell at me. He doesn't curse at me. He doesn't do any of that stuff. I'm pretty sure he has more respect for me than just your average husband to a wife. It Absolutely. it takes that. You have to maintain a respect level. You have to <clears throat> look at, even if I'm like angry, pissed off to a whole nother level and stuff, and I have to do a gut check, a self check to be like, hey, listen, you know, I don't want her talking to me like this. I don't want her being like this towards me. So let me go ahead and take a minute. Be like, hey, you know something? Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to go drive around the block or take the rims off the car, put the rims back on the car, change the oil or something. Do something constructive where at least that moment goes by that I'm not thinking about how mad I am. Because the more you think about it, the more the things you're doing and the directions that your anger goes just build up because you start thinking about other stupid stuff and just piss you off even more. So to basically <clears throat> alleviate that situation and stuff, you do something completely different. I do something that I enjoy doing, which is um, audio um, and electronics and a lot of other um, technical gadgets and whatnot. So I deal with that and stuff, you know, not um, PlayStation 4, Xbox, or, you know, the computer games. I'm not, you know, well, I was, but not no more. I'm not, I can't even get into that stuff no more. So I find other stuff to bring in my calm, my peace and stuff. If I can't seem to find that peace within my life and stuff, it's still home. That's another difference. That's a whole other subject, but I still find my peace at home. You know they still there. They're still there. They're still there. It's like the Like they did Haley Berry. Nobody run. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's, it's got to be a better way. Better oh. figure out how to how to handle your women. Better than that. But um, all that ass whipping. <laughs> mm -mm. Anybody in that? Go learn the dance. Right behind the sign for some shit like that. I don't know. You all tell me, and don't get mad at me because. I'm saying I'm not going to sign up for that shit, you know, and you taking it to another level. I don't want to hear about that either. Hitting is hitting. Mm -hmm. Even if you punch me in my arm, you might as well punch me in my eye because you're going to hurt. Mm -hmm. You're going to break me. You're going to hurt hurt my arm. You're going to hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to do stuff to me later on. Nope. You know, you know, can't, you can't make me feel no I'm better sorry. from I'm, No, you punch me in my arm. Don't punch me in my damn eye. I need to see out of it. She already told me I get slapped in the air, can't hear. Like, you're already punching my arm. You might as well punch me. That's retarded. That's I mean, honestly. That's retarded. I'd rather get hit in the arm, hit in the leg. So, like, if fighting, because this is what she's talking about, fighting. fighting. This is, I've been in plenty of fights with her. Yeah, hit me in the arm, hit me in the leg and stuff. Don't hit me in my damn eye. Shit, I can't see after that because I, I can't defend myself. So she's I comparing understand. apples and oranges. She's comparing. Like, like, even in her. another idiot. Even in her weird way of describing what she thinks our lifestyle is, she says, okay, I'd rather get punched. You might as well punch me in the eye if you punch me in the arm. So she's basically saying, hey, it's the same thing. So that's basically what she's doing to our lifestyle. Hey, if you're going to discipline me, you might as well be beating me. And she's making it be the same thing. And it's not. She sounds stupid comparing it in in her aspect and it's stupid comparing it to our lifestyle like it just doesn't happen like it it's not even something that 
would cross your mind. Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't get pleasure in hurting me. He doesn't hurt me. Like, I don't understand how that's so hard to understand. Um, Misinformation. Very, very... There's a lot of this stuff. I don't know. I, I, and I try to give the benefit of the doubt, but once you hear this stuff from this individual, you know, which I should be able to hear, hopefully, and it's it's a disgrace. I mean, it really is a disgrace and stuff that you really think in your head, like, think. I think this and, you know, I can't even use her voice. It just sounds horrible. Um, <clears throat> just to do and say the stuff that she says and not be factual, but try to spew it as if it's factual. And... That's disgusting, and it's very dangerous and stuff. It's like anybody who who actually is in this lifestyle who are open, you know, there's only a select few people who are open about this type of lifestyle, and those people are, are happy. Why. Yes, this this is one of the reasons why, why people, who, people who choose, choose not to not stuff. to be open about right. it because you're constantly being condemned for something that is a consensual relationship. It is our choice. Mm -hmm. And to make it worse, these same people who point out how wrong we are in the next sentence say, if this was a a BDSM situation or a kink thing, Mm -hmm. it would be fine. How? It would be fine. Like how? how, Like how anything that if this, if this, (laughs) uh, I'm sorry, if I can't get off, so to say, in, in, in that terms, um, unless I'm hurting you or doing something to put you in tremendous amounts of pain, then you won't get off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and seriously. Don't get us wrong, because we're not kink shaming. People who are in the BDSM, more power to them. Yeah. If you like it, it's whatever floats your boat. Exactly. That's just not what we're into. Mm-hmm. But for these people to say that if it was that, it would be fine, okay. that's what, that's what bothers that, us. I can't They're saying the if if I like to be spanked and I enjoyed it and he enjoyed doing it, it would be great. But if I don't like it and it's done for discipline purposes, then oh my God, it's the end of the world, I'm being abused. It's the exact same act that they're describing, but the mindset is different. The mindset is different. So who, who determines what's okay then? Yes. Who makes that call to which one? This is okay and fun, but this is abuse. This is abuse. I don't. I don't understand it. So that's where <clears throat> I just can't. I, I. I can't understand. It. I can't fathom where this person is even going with this. It's like I'm back and forth with it. Like okay, some stuff. It's funny. It's funny, and some stuff I can agree with to a certain extent, and then it's like it just gets twisted and. Fun. It's like, damn, now I can't even agree with you no more because you, you just really just bashed us, basically. Yes. And it's like, okay, then you're you're an idiot then because you don't even understand what makes you happy. <laughs> so and how in the way can you expect somebody else to make you happy if you know what makes you happy? So We agree with the things that she's describing, that mm-hmm. they are bad and yeah. that's abusive, but what she's describing is not what we do. No. And that's where the problem comes in. And we are always more than happy to have an intelligent conversation with anybody about the lifestyle. We have our email is linked in all of our videos. You can reach out to us. You can leave comments. And we're happy to talk about it. And if you want to know like genuine information, we're happy to give it to you. Just don't go off on these tangents as if you know what's going on like if you haven't done research and you haven't been in this lifestyle yourself don't put out information as if you know what you're talking about because you don't what you are describing is maybe one percent of how these relationships work pretty much pretty much and stuff um most of the men that i've ever came across um in this lifestyle Excuse me. Um, pretty much, they are on the same accord that I am on. M- majority. I can't speak for every single one of them. But the other ones and stuff are um, more so with BDSM or whatever. And we don't do BDSM. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's not for us. It's, it's not for us. So we we still respect everybody in their own opinions and stuff. That just shows the difference between us 
in these types of individuals and stuff because some people say it's all the same and yada 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 and it's like wow y'all really are ignorant just just stop talking sometimes and, and listen and you can actually find out more information and stuff if you were to stop thinking in your own opinion and then try to spill it as facts just ask just don't, yes. like if you <clears throat> want to to learn more or just have a just general concept of what we do ask just ask us like we don't mind we talk to couples all the time it's part of what we do we don't mind ask answering questions we might not have the answer for everything because we can only go by stuff that we know and what we've experienced but we don't mind talking ever we just we can't be okay with these type of things that make that put us in a a very bad light like it it really does and And it's becoming more and more like we're seeing it more More. and more and more and i cannot just sit back and allow that to go on without making a rebuttal in our defense and when i say our defense i'm not just talking about brandy and brandy and lads i'm talking about the actual people who are in BD, the actual domestic discipline lifestyle. So when we speak, we speak for them all. And those who actually have a voice in their own, they would probably also speak if you actually come across their videos. They would probably actually tell you the same exact thing. Do not go off of the sick-minded people who think, okay, because a man is head of household, he's going to go upside your head and, and bust you in the air and make you go deaf. It's It's... It's crazy, or since okay, since he has the uh, the authority to do so, that he if he punch you in the arm, he might as well punch you in your eye. It's, it's nobody's getting punched. Period. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's, it's crazy and stuff. Is you hear this and it's very very distasteful and coming across this and stuff. It makes you question yourself. You know, made me question myself as a man and stuff. Am I hurting my wife? Am I doing a disservice to her you know um am i being this um stereotypical man that this woman is trying to portray that i am in this lifestyle you know when i am upset am i neglecting her because i didn't punch her in the eye instead of her arm i went ahead and worked on my car or you know just went ahead and did you know uh, my side job and stuff and made extra money for us like, did I do a disservice? So I'm, I'm trying to figure this out because most of the stuff that she's saying, matter of fact, all of it, I don't do. You know, what I do, yes, I do have a guideline. I'm not going to say, yeah, I, I don't get pissed off with her. Of course, sometimes I do. You know, really? I get pissed off about like that. But she wouldn't know unless, like, instantly it happened right then and there and then I had to leave off and walk off and like you know something I talk to you in a little bit or something and I, I go about my business you know it ain't like all right you no know, F you you know you're a dirty B-I-T-C-H and just going on and on with a rant had to yell, yell and degrade her and do all this other nonsense and stuff it's like all right cool give me a minute I'll be back that's it even if I was in public or just say we had a uh, company here they would never know. They would never know. It was like, oh, okay. Going on, drinking their tea or whatever. And, you know, oh, Laz is back. Okay. We have a conversation. Everything's all good. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Can I have some more tea? They would never know that he's angry. But let me clarify. We don't change how we do things just because people are here. Like, this is, this is our home. And we're going to be the same regardless. So... In or out. Yes. Anything that he would say to me, um, correction wise, while we by ourselves, would happen whether somebody was here or if we were in Walmart. Mm -hmm. And it has. It definitely has. And and this is what's crazy because even in public, not being this bad person, but even me talking with her and corresponding with her in public. I've been around elderly people, younger people and stuff. They just look and, and laugh at all. Oh, that's just a young couple and, you know, they didn't even know. Okay, cool. We already had a conversation and stuff. I talked to her. 
this is the situation in public bow. Whatever, it's it is what it is and stuff and nobody thinks past that point. And then like, oh my god, this person just suplexed her off the top rope and Or he's yelling, he's screaming, he's screaming. I'm worried what's gonna happen yeah. when they go home or when they get to the car. Yeah, I drag it down on aisle five. <laughs> That's the candy out. That's the candy out? Yep. Shoot. Yeah, I, candy. I, don't know, I might slide down that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, just, boy. we try to maintain a certain level of respect with dealing with people, even with people who, who don't agree with the way we live. You don't have to agree with us. We're not asking you to agree with us. Nope. But don't make us out to be what we're not. He's not abusing me. I'm not brainwashed. I'm not scared of him. Never have Woo! been. Never will be. Boo. That's just not how this works. It isn't a dynamic based on fear. It's a dynamic based on growth and progress. And it's not even the rules that we have set up aren't just all things that he wants or he wants for me or he wants me to be. There are things that I wanted to improve with myself or I wanted to be better at and wanting something and being able to make it happen can be two very very different things I always say it's the same analogy as somebody who smokes cigarettes it's a habit and even if you want to break it don't mean just you're going to get up one day and say hey I don't want to do this so you're not going to do it that's not how that works Unfortunately, part of life and part of the way just everybody's brain works, there are just like incentives to get in something good. Yeah. If you know that there's some type of consequence to doing something that you are trying to change, it makes it easier to change it. Yeah. It, it just does. That's the way humans are set up. <laughs> I mean, it would be great if I could wake up and be like, hey... I want to drink three bottles of water a day and I'm not going to drink any more soda. I might get up and say that, but not realistically, is it going to happen? Not going to happen. No, because as soon as I get out of bed, I'm going to go grab a soda. So, as opposed to that, having something set that says, you know what, you need to only have one soda a day. I'm not saying that's a specific rule to us, I'm just giving that example. And if you have more than that, there's some type of a consequence you're not gonna like, and it don't mean necessarily getting what, hit what said, ass or anything like that. <laughs> it could be whooping. if you drink more than one in this day, you don't get any more for the rest of this week. Yeah. Like it's not always anything physical. Sometimes natural consequences come into play. So, which the same thing. Like okay, I'm not saying this is the case, but just say all right, cool. Um, I allotted her an allowance. This is just an example. This is crazy because she has full. Oh, access. that's gonna be a whole nother thing. I know she She's, gets an allowance. I'm oh just saying God. she has full access to the account. I'm sorry, whatever's in the account, full access to. But just say, just say, I allotted her an allowance amount of fifteen hundred to two thousand a month or whatever and stuff. Just I say that. that. I'm just saying. Or two hundred dollars. Let's, 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 let's be realistic. Not really. That's, that's bull crap. Um, all right, let's stick with it. Anyway, say she goes through that the first week. She goes by designer bags and um, all, all kind of stuff. And then the following week, oh my God, there's something that she really wants or something that she really needs. Or matter of fact, to say, oh, the, the vehicle broke down. No, it's not a good my, example. Uh, that's your responsibility. responsibility. Just say the next week comes and it's just week something comes. that I want There's and I don't have money for. She wants, she doesn't have money for. Well, guess what? That's it because the rest of the remaining balance and stuff goes to the bills and necessities and stuff for the kids. You know, that's that. Even even with me and stuff. Um, there's certain stuff that I like to get, you know, just like I said, I do a lot of car stuff and you know, tech technical gadgets or whatever. So each month and stuff, I allot myself a certain amount to spend. Sometimes it's not just on technical gadgets or car audio. It might be stuff for the kids or taking them out to, you know, to have make sure they have a good time and stuff, um, regardless of what it is. So it's not always specifically for me, but 
so that I can have, so that I can do for for them. So if I went ahead and loaned it to somebody, because usually, you know, that's in my case, um, most people will ask to borrow money, and if I loan it, and then next you know, oh, um, the kids need new shoes, or one of the kids uh, broke their bike and needs to be replaced, or something like that, and I can't do it. I look like a bad father to them, because... I should be able to provide these things and necessities for them, but I can't if I already got the money sent out. He kind of went off topic. <laughs> uh, I out. think he was trying to explain in in the case with the analogy he gave for me Oops. is where <laughs> where natural consequences come into play. I don't get in trouble because I used my allotted money for the week for the month in a week. No, it's just for the rest of that month. I don't have my extra spending money. Mm -hmm. That is a a natural consequence. Basically. Now, if it'd be a different story if I took the money and it was something specific that you told me not to buy. Like if I went out and bought a two thousand dollar dog and brought it home, even though we already have a dog, that would be a different type of situation because I have bought something that I know ahead of time that he has said that I can't. Mm -hmm. So that's different. No but if dogs you, in the house. you're talking about just. I spent it within a week instead of a month, and guess what? I just don't have spending money for the rest of the month. There are a lot of things that happen that are just natural consequences. Natural consequences. And for yeah. us, instead of like in your typical relationship, the woman would probably be annoying and keep asking for money after that week where I ran out of money, I need this, I want this, I want this, I want this, and that's going to be a pain. We're not going to do, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. That's disrespectful. He gave me a certain amount, and if I used it up, then I used it up. I'm not going to sit there and be a B-I-T-C-H about it or get mad at something that I caused. That's dumb. But typically, that that's what would happen. Basically, some people look at it and want to point the finger. Point the finger because she could be like, well, you didn't give me enough money and yada, yada, yada and stuff, which causes a whole other issue. But mm -hmm. that's just one topic there. I didn't mean to go off, but it's it goes both ways and stuff. If, if people don't understand and stuff, it's, it's it goes both ways and stuff. With that and stuff now, I can understand if she lost the money or something or if she gave the money away or something like that. Like... Like, you know, then it's like, okay, cool, who did you give the money to, or why did you give them that type of money or anything, and stuff, like, was it, was it an emergency? Now, there's a fine line between that, too. So, you know, sometimes she has friends and stuff that might come up to, like, a hardship. They might need to get out of a situation, mm -hmm. you know, and that has came about and stuff, where if we are capable of doing it, yes. Me being her husband, me being pro about keeping the lifestyle pure about domestic discipline not being abusive if somebody needs to get out of a situation we want to make sure they can get out of that situation yes. that's we're a honest it's a whole different story there, i'm kind of spoiled so even if i spent my money in a week honestly that, more than likely if i really 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 wanted something he'd be nice and just buy it for me he might not necessarily give me more money but he would buy it for me usually and like i said she has access to the account realistically though i'm cheap like I don't, I don't like to buy hey, buddy. stuff unless it's on sale. What's up, buddy? You gonna start him making noise again? Yeah, he's he's already annoying me now. That's our dog. He's oh. <laughs> Does he need to get up? No, he's crying because you acknowledged him and not paying no attention to him. He be all right. He ran under the bed. He's oh. fine. Yeah. So um. It, it is what it is and stuff. This this individual here is, is very bitter. And these are the type of women I try to also tell the men who who are intrigued about the lifestyle, who are scared because of the backlash of it, because nobody wants to be labeled a woman beater or a womanizer, womanizer or a womanizer, woman abuser. woman abuser, any of that stuff. Like the majority of us and stuff really stand tall to being, you know, gentlemen, you know, it's, it's just bad. Just stay away from these type of women because, you know, you might come across one of them and say, hey, you know, um, yeah, I want to be in this lifestyle and as soon as something goes goes down and you have to hold your end of the, of the agreement 
oh my god, this person just did this and did that. And he's like, wait a minute, you know, what what the hell? That that is something we have come across. We have come across couples who are in this lifestyle consensually. Mm -hmm. They both want it. At the one particular one, it was the woman's idea. But um she broke like a major rule. He like you said, kept his end of what he is supposed to do. She was disciplined for it, and she basically called the police. Um, yeah. So, getting in, being in this lifestyle, know who you're with, be it the woman or the man, because it could go be bad on either part. And that's something that, you know what, people don't talk about enough, since they want to make so many videos about the guy in and him abusing the woman. But nobody makes videos or talks about the scenarios that's happened where the woman has fully consented to this and then afterwards, for whatever reason, been mad and then want to be vindictive and call the police or call up family, call a brother, Yo, my, he just hit me or so forth and so on. So just like it can be bad on one part, it can be bad on the other. It's not always, oh, poor, pitiful women getting abused or that we're brainwashed and all this stuff it can go both ways so if you're interested in the lifestyle just make sure you know your partner because this it's not for everyone could it be a great tool yes, yes but not for everyone and it's not the end all be all marriage saver no but when it, when done right with the right people it can be very beneficial and Definitely. you just have to go into it doing your own research like and if you're going to take advice from people or that type of thing take advice from somebody who's been in the lifestyle for years and people who who know what they're talking about not people who just think something and decide that they are going to make blanket statements on how something is Basically, it's, it's crazy. I, I still can't get past it. It's annoying. It's really annoying. It's, it is annoying. You know, um, and we, we're just scratching the surface with just this one video. Um, I know this one is going on a little bit longer, but we wanted to go ahead and give y'all something to go off of. And, you know, just, just like my wife said earlier, we do apologize for not actually producing more videos. But, you know, especially everybody should understand during the whole COVID situation and these, um, Everything that's been everything. going on, just everything, and it's been very hard um, on us, especially being consolidated at certain points. Um, limiting my travel, you can't really see certain family members and, and whatnot. So, you know, we we are making the best of it. Um, we we are great. The kids are great, and um, times are hard enough without people trying to to make things worse we're happy we've always been happy everybody who knows us like we're that couple that most people who know us want to have our type of relationship yeah. and when i say our type of relationship i'm not talking about the lifestyle i'm talking about just the way we are with each other and how happy are we are with each other and how long we've been married and so forth and so on there's a lot of people who who look up to that and they want that now are all those people willing to put in the work that we do Usually not, but mm -hmm. people who know us, they know who we are. They know that there's nothing crazy <clears throat> or outlandish going on in our house. And they know he is a good father and a good husband. I'm a good wife and a good mother. Our kids are well taken care of. Like, we are doing better than most right now. And that's usually the case for us. And we put just in that time, put in that effort to do more than just your standard yes. stuff, you know. I just don't go to work and come home, you know. I go to work, I do what I need to do at work, I come home, I provide, make sure that my wife is good, I spend time with the kids, making sure that they understand a lot of stuff in society and at home. What's allowed here isn't always what's allowed in public. It's a lot of stuff that I have to do and there's a lot of stuff that my wife has to do to keep above that what you call that the stand we we don't want to do the bare minimum <clears throat> not 
when it comes to our marriage or our family. Mm -hmm. The bare minimum is not enough for us. We want to be above the bar. Basically. And that's how we always look at things and we strive to to always do that. Mm -hmm. We want to be tomorrow better than we were today. We want to be next week better than we were this mm -hmm. week and so forth and so on. And that's just how we look at pretty much all aspects of our life. Um, we This is not something that we do here and there. This is not something that is just it's not on and off. At finish. home thing. It's not a bedroom kink thing. Like this is our. We're, we're not bedroom, but we, we are. <laughs> this not is our life. This is us, twenty four seven, every day, all day. This is who we are. Um, kind of take it or leave it. With <laughs> it's fine either way. Just we wanted to, to take the time and really just give people some better information. Not that we haven't Just put out good information better before. Better information, obviously correct. Realistic information. Correct information, factual information, and not biased. I, I can't say biased. I can only go about those who actually practice within the guidelines. Now, yes. if you're outside of those guidelines, I can't say specifically, directly, that you do exactly what we do. Yes. And there's other parts to it that, you know, other people do. And... Just like we said before, there's all kind of twists and makes of of certain stuff, you know. And what we do is just the basic under domestic discipline. Yes, everybody's dynamic will be different, but there are certain guidelines that everybody follows. Basically. And if you're living outside of those guidelines, we don't factor you into the equation because to me, you're not doing the domestic discipline lifestyle yeah, like if you're doing life. the most and you are just doing stuff that just doesn't stick within just the normal guidelines basically then primary it's we don't primary guidelines. yes we don't <coughs> look at you like we don't, you're, you're we don't not look at you factored into the, we don't no but you you're not less, factored you're into not our equation that is different guides there's different chapters or however you want to look at it but we have know. a very Traditional. Uh, traditional dynamic nothing in ours is like way out there mm -hmm. we don't have outlandish rules we don't have outlandish punishments we don't have any of that type of stuff it's very a very traditional dynamic um not that anything's wrong with anybody else's we just have to go by what ours is Basically. and when we give you information we're speaking on information that we know from personal experience and also from the hundreds of people and couples that we have talked to or who have reached out to us, um, which we appreciate mm -hmm. greatly, all the support and the people we've come across who wanted pictures and just been super nice. We appreciate it. Could do without the people who send implements. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, your support is appreciated, but. We could do without that part, or at least I can. Um, we will we promise we will start uploading on a regular schedule. It might just be me sometimes. It depends on his work schedule. If it's on the weekend, it'll be both of us. Yes. Um, but we will start putting up maybe at least once a week, maybe twice, just depending on what you all want to see. If there's anything you want specific videos about email us or comment them except the one we're going to get the most no matter how much i say it we are not going to do a video of him disciplining me that is a private thing that's between the two of us it will never be filmed it will never be put on the internet i just want to really make this very clear those who are asking of that that is very disrespectful because i will not actually have my wife exposing anything of herself to anybody for views or any of that stuff or for somebody else's pleasure it's not even pleasurable for me to even go through that so i'll be damned if i even allow that to happen so please just be respectful and stuff you respect everybody do the same and reciprocate the same well this video went on longer than we were expecting mm -hmm. but you show them that before like on the close up show them that. No, it's going to be hard for them to see it. 
Um, we want to thank you for watching. Thank you. Make sure you hit the like button. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification button so it will let you know every time a new video comes out so you won't miss anything. And I guess, what are you doing? You like a turtle. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time. Bye. Oh my God.